Hi, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Skin Talk with Sara. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a Skin Talk video. It's been very, very long. But today's video is going to be super simple. I'm just going to break it down for you all when it comes to moisturization. I feel like a lot of people skip the step of moisturizer when you are oily skin. A lot of people who are dry skin over moisturize, and you can't really pick your right moisturizer for your skin type. So today I'm going to help you with that. Break it down, really, really. Really simple for you that if this is your skin type this is what you need with your moisturizer and we'll keep it as simple as that so we'll break it down ingredient as well as concerned area types so if you're interested to know what that is where you fall exactly and what you need for your skin then continue watching but if this is the first time you've come onto my channel then hi i'm sarah i make beauty and lifestyle content here on youtube take a moment hit that subscribe button join the sarah squad i'm sure you'll have a great time here and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified and with that we can dive straight into this the first skin type i'm going to talk about is oily acne prone skin now this is my personal skin type so i come from an area of knowing and understanding our love hate relationships with moisturizers if you're an oily skin girl you must have definitely been in that space of life where you washed your face like 50 times a day and not applied any moisturizer only to realize that you're secreting more and more oil and you have a more greasy looking face and more acne because the bacteria is going to multiply on that oily good medium that they get on your face so that is like a big big issue that I've always faced growing up in my teenage only to realize that if we apply a moisturizer on top and give our skin that necessary moisture and hydration then it will not secrete that excessive oil so you need a moisturizer number one is understanding that even if you're oily skin you do need a moisturizer but the kind of moisturizer you are looking for your skin has to be super lightweight something that's non greasy is not chip chip just sinks right into your skin and should not be felt heavy on your face because of course we don't like that heavy feeling uh, especially when we are oily skin girls and then that will be perfect even underneath your makeup because it's hydrating your skin but at the same time it's not going to make your makeup slip and slide and make it more long wearing throughout the day. The Darton Key Sika Calming Skin Renewing Night Gel is the perfect option for you then because this is exactly what I just described it's lightweight it's non-greasy and oil free formula and a Along with that, this has Centella Asiatica, which is Sika, which is very, very famous in Korean beauty and K-beauty skincare. So that basically is like a very, very calming ingredient for your skin. If your skin is inflamed because of all the excessive cleansing you've been doing for your face, your skin barrier can be compromised because of that. So this will help repair it. This formula is also non-comedogenic and does not have any fragrance in it. So if you have sensitive, acne-prone skin, you will not face any irritation because of this particular moisturizer. This is currently what I'm using as my nighttime moisturizer because I'm currently breaking out a little bit over here and I have some marks over here as well. So it has niacinamide which we all know does help with fading of acne marks as well. The second skin type we are targeting is Sahara Desert Dry Skin. Now this is completely the opposite spectrum. This is the kind of skin type that I have personally not experienced but from my understanding I know that people who have dry skin constantly have flaky skin. You constantly feel the need to apply heavy cakey moisturization. I have seen my dry skin friends constantly apply moisturizer like literally keep a pocket moisturizer with them and keep applying it so much so that you're applying so much moisturizer your skin doesn't get the chance to drink it all in so don't make that mistake don't keep on applying moisturizer what you need is a lot of hydration like intensive hydration yes drink a lot of water but along with that an ingredient that will help really in your skincare routine is a hyaluronic acid you have to incorporate a hyaluronic acid in your nighttime skincare routine especially. The moisturizer I recommend for you is the Dot & Key Skin Plumping Moisture Infusion Water Sleeping Mask. This has hyaluronic acid in it and gives you intense moisturization for up to 72 hours so you won't have to feel the need to keep reapplying your moisturizer. Applying a thick layer of this works really well and again this is also an oil free formula so this is not something that only dry skin girls can apply. In the winter season if oily or combination skin girls feel the need that you're getting like those dry patches which is what I get in the winter only dry area around my nose and a little bit on my forehead then you can apply a good generous layer of this this has Japanese rice water as well as probiotics so it gives you intense moisturization for really long hours and helps maintain your skin's moisture barrier so what it basically does is it takes the moisture from the air and keeps your skin looking really nice and plump now the third skin type we have is hyperpigmented skin now Indian skin in general brown skin category do have an excess amount of melanin and so we tend to hyperpigment much more easier 
as opposed to like the Caucasian skin that we all know if we get like an acne mark also it will not fade away very simply it will leave that pesky black spot the way I am dealing in this area and this area so if that is your concern area then vitamin C is your best friend the dot and key vitamin C and E salt based super bright moisturizer is a great power pack antioxidant rich moisturizer this has three variants of vitamin C it has the kakadu plum extract it also has ethyl ascorbic acid and it has sodium ascorbyl phosphate in it so all these three together make for a very stable formulation of vitamin C especially with the Indian weather I like to use this in the daytime like currently I have only this moisturizer on my face and then I've layered a little bit of sunscreen vitamin C always works really well in the daytime when you layer it with sunscreen you can use it in the night also but then may you definitely have to use sunscreen with it since the formula is so lightweight my skin doesn't feel chip chip at all I don't feel like I've applied a moisturizer on this and I do have a little bit of uneven skin tone some amount of marks that I'm dealing with so currently my skincare routine is the Sika one in the nighttime and the super bright moisturizer in the daytime if you're oily skin you're dealing with marks you're dealing with acne then this combination will have you sorted finally the fourth and last skin type I'll be targeting is aging skin where I feel like very soon I'm going to land up over here with the kind of stress I'm taking now aging skin is basically skin that starts developing fine lines and a little bit of that onset of wrinkles anybody I feel like in your late 20s early 30s is the right amount of time to start incorporating retinol which is a vitamin A derivative in your skincare routine which is a great way to delay that aging onset the Dodd Key Night Reset Retinol plus Ceramide is a very great formulation where it has retinol but it also has ceramides in it what it helps to do is minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles because it increases and stimulates your collagen production it is not Botox they are not fillers it's not going to fill your fine lines of course they'll be there and that's perfectly fine but it will just help you age more gracefully and more gradually as opposed to those fine lines just sinking in and setting in in place so it's best to incorporate it in your late 20s and your early 30s and the ceramides in this help repair your skin barrier so your skin will just appear more firm more lifted and it will give you like a smooth even texture and complexion and that pretty much completes it I tried to target the four major skin types and variants that I see in my friend and family groups if there are any more skin types you want me to target then let me know in the comment section and I will try to take that into account as well I will make sure to link all of the dot and key moisturizers for you in the description box and you can also use the code SARA10 on the dot and key website for any other product that you want to shop for and you will always receive a flat 10% discount I would like to thank dot and key for partnering with me for today's video if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the Sarah score shout out goes to M Kavitha thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video Sarah score shout out you know what to do hit that subscribe button bell icon right next to it and leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah squad and you get a chance to be a part of my next video Sarah score shout out I will see you guys very soon in another video bye guys love you Mwah.